Hello there folks, welcome to another Train Sim Classic video. Today we got something that looks pretty interesting. It's been in the works for quite a while. This is from a group of folks called Project SoCal, as you can see there in the top left corner. And this is for the long, long, long awaited Pacific Surfliner 2023, or modernized as I'll call it. Uh, there have been a lot of groups and a lot of people that have uh, tried to tackle pack surf. Uh, and just updating, you know, tracks, ballast, scenery here and there. But this is a little bit more comprehensive, and uh, it's it's going to change a lot. Um, it, of course, it's still the base route Pacific Surfliner, and you will be able to keep the base route Pacific Surfliner. This is a separate route in itself, uh, so it will not overwrite the original route. But the requirements are Stevens Pass, Pack Surf, Racetrack, uh, the RCAP, and Vulcan Roads and Trees. All of these are clickable links to uh, show you where you need to go to get those. And then this is the download button right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. All right, guys, welcome to sunny Southern California. This is, of course, the Pacific Surfliner route. Uh, now, the original route in its entirety, I think, goes from San Luis Obispo to San Diego. In this case, in train sim it's always gone from los angeles which we're currently in down to san diego uh so we're just gonna jump around the map and see what all's changed uh now the original iteration of the pacific surf liner was built in like 2013 if i'm not mistaken so we are a decade on jesus Christ, it's hard to believe that it's 2023 already. So 10 years on from when this thing was built, and a lot has changed over the years uh, to this area, the trackage, uh, you know, the grades, the alignments, all of that good stuff. And uh, they have, and by they, I mean uh, Project SoCal have, um, you know, ticked a couple of boxes uh, as to what has changed. Now, I'm not going to go over Pacific Surfliner. Uh, as a whole, a sort of Wikipedia, if you will. I'm sure there's, you know, tons of information out there if you'd like to look in on that. Uh, but but largely, it's Amtrak. Uh, you got some Metrolink. Uh, you got some Coaster. You got BNSF that runs up and down. Uh, the entirety just about with a bajillion yards and in industries in between here and there. And uh, a couple of crossings with Union Pacific as well. So we're currently looking south just about down the coast of uh, California there. That's LA over the distance on the right. And then that's north, and that's the uh, mountain ridge up there. So one of the biggest, most noticeable things about this upgrade is the new tracks and the ballast, and it looks fantastic. It, as a whole, totally changes the way this route looks uh, in my eyes. It's just it looks like a totally new route. It's 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 hard to understand. They didn't just throw the new tracks down either and leave, uh, you know, the the side kind of ground texture or ballast, uh, and they didn't just just you know slap one coat of paint on it and and call it quits either. You'll see different, you know, bits of color of ballast and track. You'll see wood ties, uh, modern concrete ties, uh, and all that. But uh, it it definitely changes the look. This is of course LA Union Station as you know 99 percent of our stations in america are called union station and uh it just looks so 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 much better so much cleaner and refreshed it looks modern one of the other big things you'll notice right off of the bat are the new signals and signal gantries uh, which are included in this enhancement, the uh, 2023 version of Pack Surf, which uh, does include these nice Vader-style lamps. Just look how crispy that looks. That clean turn with these new signals. Here we sit looking back towards uh, downtown Los Angeles, and this is the flyover of the L.A. River, that giant concrete ditch which is usually very dry from what I know, what little I know about California and L.A., but uh, it looks very nice. 
a lot of the bridges uh, were reset or new or updated and used different assets. And the tracks, you can tell here, have a lot of the anti-derailer uh, bits. So it's got like the extra rails in between uh, to keep, you know, trains from derailing, obviously. And it looks very nice and clean. You, of course, still have all the yards, this uh, being Hobart here. And behind us is uh, 4th Street, the Amtrak station, uh, Metrolink storage yard. Uh, all of that still remains, um, you know, some new alignments here and there where it is uh, in needing to be modernized, uh, if you will, trying to think of a, a somewhat coherent way to say that. Uh, but a lot of it is still here, what is still here today, um, you know, in modernity. This, of course, here being Hobart Yard, very large facility. Another very, very huge chunk of the update to the uh, new Pacific Surfliner is the trees and vegetation. So you're going to need the Vulcan Productions uh, Tree and Grass Asset Pack, which look very good. Some of the best looking stuff in Train Sim, as far as I'm concerned. They just look a lot more natural and more realistic uh not too light not too dark there's a absolute shit ton of variety within the pack it's nice to have overall even if you kind of just mess around with some stuff on your own uh but a lot of newer routes that are freeware will will tend to have uh, a lot of these packs and of course i don't know if i mentioned yet it's free so i'd go ahead and download just about everything from uh vulcan productions uh that you can get your hands on you'll also need the road or asphalt and uh, cheese and crackers. I can't think of what else it's called. I think it's just like a, a road asset pack, which just gives you some more fresh looking roads, uh, curbing, uh, things of that nature. So that has been thrown all throughout. I mean, we're, this is like a two hour train journey from stem to stern. So this had to have taken a while to uh, kind of replace a lot of this stuff. And, of course, another big or super huge deal uh, with this upgrade to Pack Surf is the crossings and the infrastructure and machinery and all that good stuff that go into uh, the crossings themselves. They are newer, fresher assets. They're placed correctly how they should be. There's some new signage uh, where applicable, like such as no horns and things like that. There's even the little kind of pedestrian uh anti-pedestrian arms that come down over sidewalks and things like that this is just one example here uh just south of los angeles and this looks really damn sharp this of course is fullerton station uh complete with the rail cars cabooses all that good stuff over off to the right but uh just look how much nicer this looks with updated roads trees tracks that whole kit it does so, so much for a lot of these routes because I feel like the American side of routes, you know, over the last few years have just been lacking severely compared to the rest of the globe with some of the stuff I've seen that just looks downright flipping fantastic. But uh, it's, it's interesting to show you what's really good tracks do to a North American route. And uh, while the original Pacific Surfliner had some really nice assets they actually kind of tried when they made P 
Pacific Surfliner back in 2012. It released 2013, but it was you know being made before then, obviously. This being one of them, a lot of these stations are original, but it's just insane when you throw some nice tracks and ballast down on top of it, how much better it uh, complements. So we're a bit further south now in Anaheim, and this is the home of the Angels baseball team. Uh, obviously, sort of like cricket for you international folk, but a lot less weird as far as like padding and the stick itself. Anyway, baseball, Anaheim Angels. Now, this stadium and the parking lot came with the original route for the most part. They did a pretty good job, like I said, with a lot of custom assets back then. Uh, I feel like they've kind of gotten lazy over the years. Some of the dovetail stuff that's made in-house that's come out. Uh, especially in the uh, North American department. But one thing that was added uh, with this enhancement is the the big sign over there, which, uh, which was added, just makes it a little more natural. Now, what we have here is the Metrolink Olive subdivision, or is it orange? I get the two confused. Anyway, so the tracks... That, uh, that take off to the left here, actually north. That goes up to L.A., Anaheim, where we were. In fact, you can s just see the sign there. That down behind us is, uh, of course, south goes down to San Diego. Um, but this was a spur initially uh, in the original route, and this is 100% new. They've started uh, adding this, and they've added a lot of it. Uh, so all this is cherry-picked, hand-placed, uh, and put down. And uh, we're going to scoot right along. And a lot of this, uh, as is noted, is, is version, I think, 1.01. .01. So there's already been a couple of weird things. They went ahead and fixed those. They updated it already. So it's kind of a work in progress. Uh, it's a small portion, uh, but it's just a, a tiny kind of adjoining track that, uh, that connects to the, the track that's back here, which runs to, geez, I think it runs, I think it runs from San Bernie to... So like San Bernardino over that way, and then it uh, runs back to Fullerton over that way. You got a lot of old industries back in here, which are no longer rail served, sadly, like a lot of stuff in North America nowadays. It's all gone, uh, you know, truck transport for the most part, but uh, they didn't spare any time, um, you know, getting the crossings and all that good stuff down. We've got a very large big box store over here on the left. We'll scooch right along here. Got another old X yard that used to be over that way, which is no longer there. Bits of the track remain. We'll keep flying up this way. Some of the stuff may take some time to load as well as I fly around the map here. It's a big crossing there. Ballpark over on the, the right. CompUSA, those are no longer anymore i used to work at a comp usa way back in the day if that tells you how old i am um yeah cool store kind of like best buy but less bullshit another old spur here with grass growing over it and weeds i love seeing stuff like that looks very natural for something that's not been ripped up yet just a lot of old industries back here we'll keep on scooching down we'll get a little higher to go a little faster and then this big-ass dry gulch is actually a river, believe it or not. I think it's the Santa Ana, and uh, it's funky. It pretty much looks like this all the time. They have these weird little zigzags, like, cut into it, I guess, to slow the flow of water. So when there's heavy rains over in the mountains or snow's melting, um, you know, maybe it comes down. But for the most part, Southern California is extremely dry. They're always, you know, damming up the water, you know, for water so uh, sources uh, and needs to its uh, citizens and companies and all that good stuff. So that's the Santa Ana River. This little area right here is pretty interesting. So this place here is SA Recycling, which is a large company all over the United States, maybe even internationally. And there's a very large yard here. Uh, but I don't think the yard has anything to do with the recycling company, although I think they do take the occasional rail car, cut them up, and recycle them as well as... Uh, some locomotives themselves. What I think, though, is this is a BNSF team track, which BNSF laid 
uh, and owns the yard, but I think it's operated by Coast Rail. And uh, it was sort of like a staging area for the Alameda Corridor project, I think. Uh, they offloaded a lot of rebar, plastic, all kinds of crap like that. Uh, of course, please let me know down in the comments, uh, you SoCal folks, uh, if you know any more about that. Because it's an interesting little yard, and I actually looked up quite a bit because I didn't know a single freaking thing about it. So if you know something about this place... Please do let me know. But uh, that branch is right off there. We continue west. This is the only um, station here thus far. Jeez Louise. What is this called? I don't know the name of this station. It's Metrolink. Gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I knew it, but I forgot it. Old man brain. We'll continue on. A lot more industry back here. It merges into one track. I think this company here is still rail served. Uh, if you look on Google Maps, you see a lot of tankers and stuff sitting there. So you can do a bit of that. And then you can see this is kind of where the, the sub or the part of the sub ends. And then this is what I was talking about. That way goes off on to San Bernardino. And then if you were to head back that way, uh, that goes to Fullerton. So we'll go ahead and pop the map open and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is it right here. This is currently where we're at. This way goes to San Bernie. Uh, and this way back to Fullerton. It's almost like a connection or a shortcut, if you will. Uh, and that was there, I think. I think this little spur was there. It's not a spur, but the little spur of track was there. But this was not. So this junction here, all it did was cut uh, to the left, up and to the left there. And they did add all of this here. So uh, that in itself probably took quite a bit of time. That's got to be what like five miles six miles maybe so that is added for some uh, some metro link fun this is santa Ana in orange county and this is probably one of my personal favorite uh stations on the entirety of this map and while like i said a lot of the original assets were actually pretty decent for dovetail you know 10 years ago now um it just looks so so much different with a few things added to it, namely the track, the um, the Vulcan trees, all kinds of stuff, uh, new signage. It just looks so, so much cleaner. Something else they added, which I thought was quite friggin' neat, are these uh, wheelchair ramps, which were most definitely not here by default. And if they were, I am super legally blind uh, because those were added on all of the stations that actually do have them, and they are on both um, both sides of the platform as well. So that's that's pretty neat. Little details. Made our way further south. We are currently at San Clemente, a very pretty area in real life. And one of the things that's really neat about what the guys at Project SoCal did uh, to the coastal areas of this route is beach erosion. It is very much a real thing. And uh, living here in Florida, I can attest to that, especially with the last uh, couple of hurricanes. But it's a lot sharper. Now, is the beach still there? Yes, namely at low tide. Uh, but when it's high tide, it's most definitely smacking against that sharper wall there. Uh, so that was added pretty much from here, San Clemente, and all the coastal portions that run down uh, the rest of the line until you get to um, San Diego, of course, where there's no real you know beach there. It's all ports, marinas, uh, and stuff like that. There are also numerous little scenes all throughout the updated and enhanced Pacific Surf Liner, including this one, which is sort of just like uh, another team track uh, for maintenance away. So you can see stacks of uh, concrete tie sitting there, um, you know, gather ballast, drop it, ties, what have you, whatever's needed for maintenance away operations. Uh, you know, just little scenes like that that just always add to a route and just make it feel more organic. A little bit further south, uh, of course, is Stuart Mesa. 
a small yard for BNSF, I think, to uh, primarily serve some of the uh, military bases and installations around here. And of that, there are many in this region. And it's kind of the, the northern uh, overnight yard or base for uh, coaster operations as well. And not a whole lot has changed around here. Just wanted to point out, though, what, you know, what added is, as far as vegetation how much different it can make an area look and it it certainly has in this small portion We're sat now in Oceanside. Further south, we're looking northward now. And, of course, these are some of the new uh, signals and signal mass sitting here, along with speed. So that was something else that they've done uh, to overhaul this route as they change the speed, passenger and freight alike, as well as some of the grades uh, where some were slacked off a little, may have been too steep, uh, this and that. But there's also an additional uh, modern third track down this way as well as the station so we'll just scoot here through a second and take a look this is certainly a nice clean very clean looking area we got a couple more signs here your uh, whistle board quiet zone so i guess that's a, a lot of the route is uh whistle free but old shiny bonbon bon don't care about that i, I still toot my horn got us a, a little signal box there some more crossings these are the little passenger or passenger the uh, pedestrian crossings that I was talking about. Uh, these are some BNSF police signs, uh, or the bull, as they say. I don't remember if these are new or not. I remember seeing some signs like that, but I don't know if those were added. Um, yeah, there's another one there. This fencing as well. Those actually might have been added. Um, man, I can't recall. As well as the uh, accessibility or wheelchair ramps as well, which were added here, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, a lot of stuff nowadays uh, needs to be accommodating and modernized, and that it is pretty much where they're needed and applicable along the route. They have put those things uh, where they're necessary. That's the Ocean Side. Of course, you got to say it like that. Transit Center. Uh, let's see. we got some ticket machines back there. See if anything else. This is for the light rail bit over here. Ah, and we've got the overhaul checkpoints as well. So we've got all the uh, the new checkpoint signage uh, properly placed where necessary. We've got some more uh, equipment here, electrical zappy zap equipment. This is just a damn good looking area. Very nice. And third track. So I believe this was just um, double track. Right, And then this third bit was added just to keep things flowing because it could be a fairly congestive area for this part of the route just to keep the timetable moving, uh, if you will. We got some more little safety cones and things like that added as well. Just, again, looks a lot more realistic and organic. Uh, this is a very nice-looking area. From what I've seen so far, this is probably one of the freshest uh, freshest-looking areas Um I've seen yet. So that's Oceanside. I think that just about does it. Got some more quiet zone boards. Big old mast. And yeah, it's Oceanside. Three tracks. I don't think they go on too far. No. Diverge back to two there. So this is probably one of the more weird things I've seen. So this is the bridge over the San Diquito River, which is just outside of Del Mar. And, uh, you know, while it's a lot more appropriate, um, I noticed something odd about this. It's not got tracks. Um, 
I've not been over this portion uh, personally. So I don't know if it's just like an invisibility thing where the train will still kind of roll across. Um, you know, I'm sure they're working on it or they will work on it at some point. But uh, that's just that's that's like the first weird thing I've noticed uh, with this project so far. So that's just one teeny, teeny, tiny abrasion on a, a giant enhancement. So this is Powerhouse Beach, as it's known, that's the beach, or the cliff off to the left there. We're facing north now. This is Del Mar, or roughly Del Mar. And this is Coast Boulevard right here. And before, I can guarantee you most definitely this crossing sucked. It didn't look very good. Uh, they have most definitely updated that. Not only added a ton of vegetation uh, where necessary, the road itself looks a lot better, um, you know, with some, some better looking infrastructure signs everywhere. I'm Jeez, I don't want to say that they added the, the sidewalks and everything, but I do not remember this area looking this good. Uh, this is a really, really nice looking crossing. So that has most definitely uh, been updated here. Another one of those things that I personally like, this is just another one of those organic scenes. This used to be a, a I think a Y back into the port because that's... Um, the bay or the ocean over there to the left of the screen and the tracks are no longer there and they're being ripped up so i think it's just that and they're kind of wrapping that up but this is a uh, washington street it's just one of those neat things that i like to see got some safety cones over there and some some caution tape and all that good stuff and yes they do have sounds you know that's not one of my favorite things is hearing that or like the forklift running you know to and fro 100 miles an hour but it, it kind of goes with the territory but it's nice seeing scenes like that and when you're blasting through here in a train anyway you're not going to hear that but and then we have a jet i can hear a jet somewhere this is san diego international airport over here to the right here it comes into land this was definitely not really here before um there was kind of a a stripe there tarmac uh, a runway but they have added uh, circling aircraft and aircraft sitting in there as well as a, a couple of the bits and bobs and doodads we are just outside of the Santa Fe Depot in downtown San Diego and this is one of the crossings of the the channel uh, or gulch down there where the light rail runs which you can just see to the left and down there as well you'll see some more signs where applicable where they need to be where they should be and of course more crossing infrastructure you've got these pedestrian signs as well with the no train horn or it's a quiet zone just letting them know that so you actually got to look you know before getting run over and uh they definitely look updated and a lot nicer just a hell of a lot more realistic we got uh more signs as well. We'll just keep cruising into San Diego because there's a few things here. They do work. The bells work. The arms work. I've tested it out. Again, San Diego had some nice assets uh, to begin with. You can see where they definitely added some some shrubberies. I hear another big, big burb. Where's it at? There it goes at five frames per second. But this is the uh, Santa Fe Depot. Look at these nice, clean crossings. Them some bitches look good with the brick inlaid. Very smooth. I wouldn't want to run over that with my uh, truck. That's about a one foot gap. <laughs> but it's a train sim. It's, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, the original route did have some nice looking assets, uh, including this building here with the big mural of the whales. We got a couple of little uh, things like this as well, just organic scenes. Maintenance away truck, all that good stuff as usual. Let's check this sign out here. What's this say? Railroad crossing, do not stop on tracks, report emergency, blah, 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 blah. Some more of the new signals all throughout. CP Ash, you'll see these uh, checkpoint or control point, checkpoint, control point signs all throughout. I just happen to see a couple as I'm cruising along here. This, of course, is Santa Fe Depot. And one of the things I found really cool about this area that's freshened it up quite a bit is these. I don't know what these are called. Are they called like tresselles or something? You usually see them in like a garden. But the bushes and flowers that are on here were most definitely not on there. 
by default, the original root. That just adds a little bit more flair and uh, originality, which I feel like this is something Dovetail easily could have done when they built the root. Uh, but it just makes it look a lot more alive. It's cool seeing vines and flowers and all that stuff growing up, um, you know, along the columns and the roof thingy there. I don't know what the hell this thing's called. But it adds shade, too, which is nice, and it goes all all down there. Santa Fe Depot, again, the station, the building, everything looked pretty darn good in its vanilla state by default. But again, the tracks are always kind of what killed it in some of the immediate ground side textures. And uh, with these new tracks here, it just looks a whole hell of a lot better. Something else that was added is over here, this big boat. USS Midway, I believe it is, or the uh, Midway Floating Museum. I'm not sure what the hell that is. It's like a, a frigate or like a missile destroyer or something. A couple more boats were most definitely added to the area. Santa Fe Depot with a coaster and a pack surf loaded up, ready to go. That over there, of course, is the light rail that goes into San Diego a bit further. This rounds the curve. These crossings look very nice as well and clean with the new inlay track. You get a couple new bushes and plants here and there down here, but it's you know it's pretty much where the track ends. You're not really going to be doing anything down here. I'd say it's predominantly a passenger-based route, although you can do some BNSF uh, operations without a doubt a bit further north and down here in the yard. But something they did add which I thought was pretty cool, is this. This is the San Diego Padres Ball Club. Again, baseball park. It's most definitely here. I think it's called like Petco Field or something like that. That was added. That was not there by default. It's pretty neat. It is indeed there, IRL. And, of course, you've got the original yards down here. This is the, uh, the light rail yard or metro yard off to the left. And we've got the BNSF yard down here, which is still going strong. I think they serve a lot of uh, military stuff as well as the ginormous uh, ports that sit along here. But that will just about do it, guys. That is the modernized um, Pacific Surfliner 2023, as it is dubbed. And uh, it's been a long time coming and needed because uh, this wasn't a horrible route. It just... You know, it just had those really old tracks and foliage and all that. And that, you know, over time starts to just not look all that great. And it's amazing what, uh, you know, I'm not saying nothing was done, but it's amazing what just a few things to an older route done uh, can just make it look so, so much different because this is just so much cleaner and nicer looking. You got a lot of damn good stock out there you can run just just oodles of BNSF stuff, rolling stock, freight cars, engines. Uh, you've got Amtrak stuff. You've got the Coaster EP. You name it. There's all kinds of stuff you can run on this place. And, and before, it was kind of painful running some of that stuff out here. But now, you're good to go. I'm sure I missed a ton of stuff. I didn't go over each and everything. I tried to keep it short and concise. If I missed anything, please do let me know, as always, in the comments. And that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll post the link down below if you want to go and check it out for yourself. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.